What's up, guys? King Bimo TV here for another Modern Horizons 3 draft. Take a second, like, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Trying to grow the channel. Can't do it without your help. All right, let's take a look what we got. We have the most OP common of all time, Raving Chrysalis. We have Cranial Ram. I haven't played the Black Red Artifact deck yet. We have Depth Defiler. This one's pretty good. Inspired Inventor's good. I mean, I mean, every card in this set is good, right? What's Propagator Drone? Two mana, two, two, devoid. When creature token, creature tokens you have control, creature tokens you control have evolve. Create an Eldrazi spawn. All right, this card's super good. Um, I think Chrysalis is the best card in the, in the pack. I'd like to try this Propagator Drone card. I do want to try the artifact deck at some time, at some point, but let's take Propagator Drone. I want to give this this card a shot here. So I mean, it's green. It's really good. That's it. It's just green. So that's how I'm going to look at this card. Next pack, our opponent took the rare, so no clear signals here. Next best card in the pack. Sorry, next. I mean, the card for us. And this is a bad pack. It's straight up, not a good pack. Uh, Warped Tusker is okay. Um, I've kind of hated the big dumb Eldrazi deck so far, but I think that might be it. This Disciple of Free Elise is good. I just never know when to cast this card. Um, like I look at this and I'm like, all right, it's really good, but yeah, I'm going to... I'll take this. I'm going to give this card another shot. I need to make this card work. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Um, what else do we have in this pack? We have Eldrazi Repurposers. Probably our next choice here. I don't need two of these. That's for sure. The Hunger Tides is okay. Golden Tail Trainer. I think it'd be pretty cool too. But I think we'll just keep sticking the green so far. Keep our options open. Uh, next pack we have... It that Herald's End is super good. Really love this card. Uh, Annoyed Haltasaur is also a house. 7 mana, 6, 5, Reach, Trample, Cascade. Um, uh, I'm going to take this one. I, I like this card a lot. This card's really good. I haven't cast Haltasaur yet. It's obviously really good, but... Cascade is definitely a hit or miss type card, but this is always going to be good. So let's take it. Uh, next pack. Is this card good? Jund 1, 0, 5, plus X, plus O, where X the greatest power among creatures in graveyards. When it attacks, each player mills a card. During each of your turns, you may play a land and cast a spell from among the cards in graveyards that were put there from libraries this turn. Um, I mean, it's good. I don't know if I want to commit to a three-color card right now. I think Ooze is probably just a safe bet here, since there's no more green cards here. We're not going to take either the energy cards. I look at this as kind of an, an artifact card, so we'll take Expanding Ooze. Three mana, three, three. Pay black and one. Adapt one. Whenever it attacks, put a one-one counter on target modified creature you control. So we don't have a lot of modified stuff right now, but... It's still probably the best card for us. Wow. All right. Um, another It That Heralds End, which is awesome. Horrific Assault is really good too, though. I'm going to take this because I doubt I see another, whereas Horrific Assault, hopefully I see another. So could go either way. Horrific Assault might be like the safer choice, but let's let's take this one here. Snapping Void Claw is good, but it is blue. Whereas Nyxworn Hydra should kind of always be good for us. Could go either way. Given we're getting, we're doing, being pretty Eldrazi so far, the Void Claw might be better. Void Craw. I'm going to take the Void Craw. Let's keep, keep our options open. It's the first, it's the first pack, right? White card, white card, Gift of the Viper. Yeah, I'm going to take the Gift of the Viper here. Keep taking some green here. 
This is our original pack. Crano Ram ta tabled, wow. Dread Mask is pretty good. It works with Ooze too, right? Because it is a modified creature. It's very expensive, which makes it good for snapping Void Crawl. Um, yeah, I think it's a good choice here. Thraven Charm wouldn't be that bad either. Do I play two Colossal Dread Masks? Probably not. Uh, neither of these lands are green, so I guess I'll take the Dread Mask. Uh, Golden Tail Trainer tables, huh? All right. I mean, I think this is pretty good, right? It's if we end up green white. So we have a we have a white option, we have a blue option, and we have a black option. So we'll figure that out. Um, Witch Enchanter is pretty good. I'll take that one. Barbarian Ring and Island. Okay, next pack. What do we got? Uh, Detective Phoenix is good. Nightshade Dryad is really good. Glyph Elemental is like OP. Uh, but then we're kind of committing the green white aggro, which I don't really think we are. Given we have like the Propagator Drone and to it that Heralds ends, I think we kind of want to be a big dumb Eldrazi deck. Um... So Nightshade Dryad, I think, is the pick here. Cursed Wombat's pretty good, too. Um, I'm going to take the Dryad. Two Invert pol Polarities. A Warped Tusker. Copy Crook. Decree of Justice. Oozwag isn't bad. I think I'll take the Tusker here. I think we want to really just commit to this green Eldrazi deck here. I don't think we want Emerald Medallion, though. Um, not a very good pack for us. What does this do again? Look at the top card. You reveal a historic card from among them. You need triple... You need this and two white to do this. I don't think that's what we want. Uh, I'm thinking kite right now. If we're gonna go down the white path, this isn't really the green green blue theme. Uh, whereas this is kind of green white, so I guess we'll take the kite. No green in this pack. That's that's a bummer. Distinguished conjurer. This blinks a creature you control, which can be good with what? Witch enchanter. Not that one. Repurposer. Yeah, not a great pack for us. I'm going to take this uh, Distinguished Conjurer. Oh, the green is really dried up this way. But Proud Pack Rhino is good. 3 mana, 3 3. Enters the battlefield, put a shield counter on a permanent or proliferate. So I think we'll take that. I don't think we need another kite here. It doesn't look like what we're drafting is kind of there. It's drying up for sure. Um, I guess we'll take Meddler. Serum Visionary is good, but I think we're more of the Meddler deck. Are we white? Are we green? What? We're definitely green, I guess, but... Kudo's pretty good. Thraven Charm is pretty good. Should I just take a land here? No, even these lands aren't good for us. Kudo. I'm going to take a Johnny Fells, the God Sire, over Kudo. Suppression Ray is good. Oozwag is good. Uh, Oozwag fits in the curve. We'll take that. Dog Umber is good. So is Airy Auxiliary. And we don't really have much removal, so I think it's Dog Umbra here. Although, Auxiliary certainly would be good. Uh, okay, this is this is the best land for us, but I feel like I have to em embrace here that we're going to be white. So I'm going to take this landscape. No, I'm going to take the Inventor. I'll need some colorless lands for sure, although our plan is not really coming to fruition. 
Yeah, I think I think we can give up on on uh, black and blue here. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a big Eldrazi card. Nine mana, when you cast a spell, you may exile your hand. If you do, draw three cards. Each creature spell you cast has emerge. Emerge equal to its mana cost. Um, that's pretty expensive. We're not like the green-blue Eldrazi deck, so... Fanatic of Ronus is pretty good, too. I'm taking the big guy. Harragast. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Nine mana. We'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. Uh, Windswept Heath. Nyxborn Unicorn. Soltis Zealot. Evolution Witness. I love Evolution Witness. I'm going to take that one. Bridgeworks Battle is really good. Oh, so is Path of Annihilation. I like Path of Annihilation a lot. War and Soul Trader is really good too. Uh, Path of Annihilation, four mana, make two Eldrazi tokens. They both, now all your Eldrazi cards have tap, add one mana of any color, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to take this, I think. I kind of want Bridgeworks Battle, but I want to be the big, dumb, green Eldrazi deck, so we need to take the right cards for it. Uh, looks like a pretty easy Warped Tusker. I guess we're playing. Party Thrasher's good, right? Sort of, yeah. Uh, Malevol Malevolent Rumble's nice. Happy to take that here. Uh, Basking Brood Scale is really nice. Yeah, I think we'll take that. We don't have any colorless lands right now. But I don't think now is the time to take one. Lurker's pretty good. We only have so many seven drops in our deck, though, right? I'm taking it. Maybe we'll lose to the aggro decks, but we'll beat the the slower decks, the mid range decks. Curve is super high. We're not playing two mandible kites. I don't think Golden Tail Trainer is really us. I think we'll just play like the good white cards. We're we're still like a big green colorless Eldrazi deck. What do we got here? Uh, nothing we want here. I think we'll just take the Mythic Rare for the gems. This is our original pack. Guardian of the Forgotten is pretty cool. 4 mana, 4-4. Four, four. When a modified creature you control dies, manifest top card of your library. I think manifest makes it colorless creature, right? It doesn't say, so I'm going to assume that unicorn's okay. I'm not sure if we play it, though. White land, green land. It's probably green. I'll take this green land. I'll play this. Doesn't get white, but we'll treat it as like a essentially a forest, I think. And we'll use it for colorless mana too, which I assume we'll need a little bit of, but not a lot of, now that I think about it really. Alright, so colorless mana we need. Do we need colorless mana? I think we do, right? Maybe we don't. Just for it that Harold's in. Okay. Okay, which is important. Alright, we can't play all these seven drops. Eighteen creatures. Could definitely cut some creatures. I'd like one gift to the Viper. I don't know if we need Kite. What is this good with? What do we want to blink? 
cast or cycle, cast or cycle, cast, enters the battlefield, enters the battlefield, enters the battlefield. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll play this conjurer, I guess, although I'm not really excited about it. We can gain a decent amount of life from this. This could help us get to the late game. I don't think Kite really makes sense in our deck. Um, so to play at that Herald's End, we would need Dryad. Um, we have to adapt Brood Scale. Malevolent Rumble. Purposer. Alright, I think we have enough things that can cast this. I think we still play Twisted Landscape, but I think the mana base is good. We just gotta cut one more card. Given we're playing 7 drops and 9 drops, I think we play 17 lands and these two guys here. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm gonna cut Conjurer. All right, I think this is our deck. I don't, I don't love it. It just like kind of went away. <sighs> Should I play seven planes? I think I play seven planes. That's like ten and seven because we're treating Twisted Landscape as a forest. So let's see. Let's give it a shot. All right, we are on the draw against Pawnee. Pony. Hand's not great, but it's not like we have three seven drops in our hand, so our mana base is good. We shouldn't have any mana issues. Good start for them. We could kill that with Witch Enchanter, though. So this is like landfall, every counter you put on this, the six mana ability costs one less. So now it costs five, and it's just reanimation. God, they're on the mulligan. One drop, two drop. This is an enchantment, which which can also, we can kill with Witch Enchanter, which I feel like will be how we use this primarily. Well, they just took three life, so... That's another another target there. Uh, we drew this a turn late. Uh, I think we play Rhino here. We'll put a shield counter on this. The shield counter is if this would be dealt damage or destroyed, remove a shield counter from it instead. So if they play destroy target creature, it's fine. It's safe. And that's a way around a shield counter. All right, we could play Witch Enchanter now to kill Glyph Elemental. But they can just put a counter on our, the Dreadmobile then. I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. The Dreadmobile has four counters on it now, or one counter on it, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Kind of want Witch Enchanter to die so we can bring it back with Evolution Witness. Alright, so now it's three to reanimate something. They have two cards in their hand, plus the Wither and Bloom, which can put a 1-1 one, one counter on something. I have a feeling they don't have a creature here. They just may reanimate the glyph.
Oh, I didn't realize they could target their own creatures. That's cool. Oh, sorry. They could target my creatures. We'll take four. We go to ten. Because it has menace. Alright, let's play Path of Annihilation. So I get two Eldrazi spawn. They can tap to add one mana of any color. And when I cast a spell that costs seven or greater, a creature spell of seven or greater, I gain four life. So let's hope we start drawing some of those. We have four of those in our deck right now. Two of the seven drop counters, Warped Tusker and Drowned Lurker, and then the uh, Harragast card. Which we don't really want to cast now because we have to exile our hand when we cast that card. So, Although it's a May. Finomancer's good. Makes a 1-1 snake every turn with Death Touch. Okay, I think we just uh, chump block the Rhino here. We go to 6. There's a Warp Tusker. That's a good draw. Gain some life, make some tokens. Um, we could sack a token to play Nightshade Dryad here if we want. Um, is that worth it? Tap one, sack one. No, I don't think so. So that's pretty cool, right? Because they could just keep sacking creatures to the dread mobile. They could sack a snake on their turn, and then on my turn, and then on their turn, and then on my turn to get this thing big. But Uh, I think we I think we're dead now, guys. So they have a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage coming at us. Block here, take seven. They'll sack in the snake to the Dreadmobile. It gets even bigger. They don't do it. Interesting. Uh, if that Herald's End is good. I think. Seems okay. Well, not really, because I have to sack it. We can't cast this and adapt and play Witch Enchanter. I think we're dead. I think we're still dead. Well, maybe we're not dead. We're pretty close to dead, though. We could put Nightshade Dryad and a token on the Dreadmobile. Yeah, I think we can go to one right now.
Okay, cool. We're still at three then, because they didn't attack with a snake charmer. Hmm, I think that's better. Right? I think Evolution Witness is getting that back would be pretty good. Because we could just bring back it that heralds at that point. So I think we get back our um, Warped Tusker, and we play Uzwag. We can't even play a 7-drop right now. Well, now we could. Uh, we're, we're actually, we're just dead on board. Now we're not dead on board. So that's good, but I mean they could certainly have just drawn a removal spell or they could put a 1-1 counter on the gargoyle and then we're dead. So very likely dead here. They could misplay though. If they do misplay and we could play Warp Tusker, that would be huge for us. Okay, now it's lethal. Close game, I think. I don't know. At least close for us to stabilize. We get down Warp Tusker next turn. You know? Okay, Void Smith. We'll keep it. It's good enough. We don't have any white. We don't have any white spells, though. Transmigrant. There's our white. Pay four, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped with two plus one plus one counters on it. Take one. Pass. Pass. Dream Drinker Vampire. All right, I don't want to play the witness because there's nothing to adapt, and I don't want it to die, and I'm not going to block with it. So I think we'll just cycle warp, warped Tusker, uh, like end of turn. And then we'll probably play Oozwag. We could play Evolution Witness and then adapt it and bring back the Warp Tusker, but I don't see much value in that currently. Tommy of Jealous Thirst. 1-3 Death Touch. Each opponent loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Uh, if you've drawn 3 cards, it costs 0 to activate. If not, 5. Cycle this. Get a guy. Alright. 2 cards we sort of struggle to cast. If we had both of these in play... Then this will cost only seven. But let's curve out appropriately. Let's play our Oozwag. Hope they don't have a removal spell immediately for it. Like Breathe Your Last. card's super good. 4 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, target creature and opponent controls gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. Really, really good card. 
them taking a turn off is nice. All right, let's play witness here. And then we pass. Yeah, I think optimal draw here is our colorless land, <laughs> Twisted Landscape. Uh, we'll have seven mana next turn. So we'll probably just cast Warp Tusker. So that's my plan. End of turn. Evolution Witness or Warp Tusker back or hand. Then play Warp Tusker. Colorless mana would go a long way though. Take three. We go to 13. Horrid Shadow Spinner. That one's pretty good because when they attack, they draw two cards and discard two cards. And then Kamiya Jealous Thirst will trigger. Uh, that's good. That's actually really nice. I think we play that instead. Exile the Condor. Still have to worry about the Shadow Spinner, but they can't really attack with the Shadow Spinner, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. I'll kill the Condor. So they don't get modular. I think we'll play this now. Now our warped, um, warped Tusker costs one less. So we can cast it next turn if we don't draw land. Uh, do I attack here? No, I think we should win the long game, I would think. Probably an island, right? Swamp, okay. So, a Johnny Fells a God Sire. Next turn, we get a 2 1 cat and then a Vigilance counter on a creature I control. Which I guess maybe will be the Ooze. Necro Dominance. Skip your draw step. The beginning of your end step, you may pay any amount of life when you do draw that many cards. Your maximum hand size is five. So probably, I would guess, three. Three cards I'll draw here. Could be more. Three, yeah. Yeah, we gotta kill Cameo Gel's Thirst, I think. We all attack with the 4 4 here. Vigilance 4 4. Don't expect a block here.
Next turn, something gets double strike. Okay, so I guess they're going to adapt here. Um... So we would trade now. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Okay. So with Camia Jealous Thirst, we're definitely on a on a clock here. Giving our creature double strike next turn doesn't really matter. It would matter if we still had Uzwag, but they have 23 health. They'll probably be 25 health this turn. Sack a non-token creature, huh? What do we sack? Yeah, I... I think it's the witness. Not sure. Well, colorless source would be great here. Another seven drop would be great here. Path of Annihilation would be great here. Don't have many removal spells in the deck, but a removal spell would be good here. What removal spell do I have? Like, I know I have Dog Umbro. That doesn't really help, actually. Uh, that's all I have. So Disciple of Freyalise would be good. Uh, that would be a good time to draw that, because we could draw, you know, gain seven life, draw seven cards, stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. Okay. All right, let's attack for 14. Figure out what we do next. Let's hope they don't have a removal spell here. I think we just play Dread Mask next turn. Although we could cast uh, it that heralds. All right, that's fine. We could play this, and then we'll have six mana open. I think that's good. We're set up for the Hellkite next turn. Null Drifter's good. 
but our creature is going to be bigger. So let's hope we, uh, I don't know, don't draw anything too good. That we won't want to play this this Hellkite here. I mean, that's pretty good. I feel like they, couldn't they have been using Cameo Jealous Thirst? Or this isn't until the very end of turn, maybe? I guess there's no window where they can do that. I really don't want to waste this Lurker. Um, Alright, let's attack for six. This has Vigilance. Yeah, let's do it. We get another spawn, too. They have to really start making some blocks soon. I could even move the Dread Mask over to the Lurker. Attack with a 15-15 Trampler. My graveyard is exiled. No attacks, huh? I guess maybe they haven't drawn that many cards. That was three. So can they use Cami Gel's Thirst? Yeah, okay, I guess they just haven't they haven't been drawing that many cards. Have the discard down. All right, we have seven, eight. We have eight mana. I think we're gonna lose the the rhino here. That's pretty good. Alright, they go to seven. Let's hope we don't get too many lands. Okay. Um, yeah, Path of Annihilation. I don't think we have any more seven drops in our deck. We have one, sorry. We have Warped Tusker. So we move this thing over, our dragon's a 14-14 trampler. Uh, that could be lethal. Depth defiler, so they can bounce something. We can just cast it again next turn, I think, because of Path of Annihilation. That's a weird choice. <sighs> okay. Does this have reach? No, it doesn't, right? I think they're dead. We equip the Dread Mask. We attack for 14 in the air. They can block and take 10. If they draw three cards, they'll lose three health, which is... You know, they could drain us for two, but still, there'll be one less health than before. So, um, yeah, I think given they didn't just draw their out, we're good. They have three mana open, so they could have, like, Breath of the Last, whatever that card's called. The murder spell.
All right, we win. Nine? No? All right, cool. Well, that's what we wanted to do with our deck. This uh, colorless mana thing is going to be an issue for sure. I wish we had a Wastes or another fetch land, but we made our choices. Okay, Bloody Grin. Bloody Grin. All right, looks good. Looks really good. Two drop, seven drop, four drop, right? Because we can't cycle this one. But we adapt turn three, turn four, Path of Annihilation. Puts us in really good shape. I think maybe even turn five this card, right? Yeah, turn five this card. Given everything works the way we want it to. That's okay. We still get the token. We don't get the token? That's sad. That makes me sad. I don't know what that card does. I'm going to read it in a second. Three mana, one three. Whenever a token you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Alright, that doesn't seem great. Slip is cool. All right. Take two. All right, we'll play Drown Lurker now. Drown Yard Lurker. Gain four life, make a token. So maybe next turn of Johnny Fells the Godsire. Then Colossal Dread Mask. Then give a creature a double strike and attack for lethal. 13 13 double strike trample vigilance. That would be nice. With the sneaky dog Umbra. Yogamoth. That's fun. 7 mana 2 2. Whatever. 4 mana 2 2. Um, whenever you cast a black spell, put a 1 1 counter on it. For each black and a cost, you may pay two life rather than pay that cost. Cool draw. All right, we can't exile anything with the Johnny Godsire or whatever. So I don't think we cast it. Jump block. Kidoki. Play Dread Mask. And Sneaky Dog Umbra if they have a removal spell. That's the plan. Alright. Sweet. Awesome. I mean, that's what we want for every game, right? Sheeny. Sheeny. Uh, okay. We got a colorless mana makes this hand so much better. Really missing out on one of those. So we have a turn two propagator drone. Which is okay, but I feel like really puts a target on it. Uh, okay, don't kill my creature. Oh, we need like land land here. If we draw colorless land here, that would be a, that would make me ecstatic, man.
We could play it that heralds end with gift of the viper mana up. <clears throat> There's no way that's gonna happen. But even a, any land would make me happy right now. Okay, thank you. So we'll pass here. Keep our propagator drone alive. And maybe one more land. We can play some other stuff. Dryad, okay. Four damage to it. All right, we live. Why not, right? Let's get some value out of the cards in our hand before we just pass and do nothing. Oh my god. All right, we need a land and a witch enchanter. All right, there's our land. I'm going to attack. Nice. Guarding the Forgotten, 4 mana, 4, 4 Vigilance. When a modified creature you controls die, controls die, manifest. That's a lot of damage. Let's make that trade. We're playing for the long game. There's our colorless mana. That's good. Uh huh. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Three lands? Four lands. So that means they're just going to hit non lands for the rest of the game. We just got to. If we just draw Witch Enchanter, we win, I think. <laughs> just Witch Enchanter. I mean, wasn't going to hold my breath on that one, but. A girl can dream. Alright, so if we draw land, we can cast the dragon next turn. And then we'll have the biggest creature on the board. Wampus. I think we double block. That's the block we wanted. All right, honestly, I think we still lose. Like they just put they just put this on the Wampus. We're so close still. Um <laughs> it's funny we could play Warp Tusker by sacking the Hellkite. Cuz it this has emerged now, right? Not that that helps us at all, but. All right, so they put, they make Wampus a 14-14 creature. If we triple block, it dies. No, it's not 14-14, good, my math is way off. So if we block here, it'll do four. So we'll have one left. We go to four. All 
right, that doesn't do anything yet. Okay, close game. Hopefully they don't draw a removal spell here. If they take one turn off from playing something really good, we should be fine. Because they can't get past us right now. They could put the mask on the Dryad, which is pretty good. <sighs> That's like worse than a removal spell, right? Uh, well, like they can't move over the Dread Mask at least. That's one positive. I think we block. Okay. Not sure what we want here. Jeez, this uh, Malevolent Rumble for them, where they milled four lands off top of their decks, pretty good. Are you serious? Another fight spell, man? Uh. Okay. Secret Nerd. Mm, I got a mulligan in his hand. Alright, this looks better. God, I wish we weren't on the mulligan. Let's hope they're not too fast here. So we'll get... We need one land for Path of Annihilation. Then another land we can play Warp Tusker. And then once we play Warp Tusker, we could play the Big Dragon. Great, great draw. Hopefully that doesn't get killed. It's the first time I've seen anyone play Cranial Ram, so... I, I think the artifact deck's like okay in this format. Just, I haven't really seen it happen yet. Or at least not very well. So this is whenever they cast a colorless spell, make an 0-1. Whenever another colorless creature enters the battlefield under your control, does one damage to each opponent. Okay, cool. All right, seven drop next turn. Turn four, seven drop. All right, so we're gonna be pretty low on health. Not, not actually, not, not even. We're at nine, a nine's pretty low. But we're gonna gain four life. And the next turn, um, could probably play Harrogast if we wanted. Gain some more life. But I'll probably play the other two cards instead. Mm, discard a card, huh? It might be Harrogast. Can Evolution Witness it back? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Three, three, two. It's perfect. Okay, cool. So we can cast this, we can cast this, and then we can adapt to get the dragon back in our hand. Okay. 
okay, buddy? Do you want to attack and lose some creatures? No. Six four. How does this have a one one counter on it? Uh, I'm not sure. Can I? No. Okay, I was thinking I missed a trigger. I could have done an evolution witness first, bring the dragon back, and then proliferate. And then I can bring back another card, but I don't have another card, so. All right, we'll just pass here. If they try to remove a creature card from our graveyard, we'll adapt, bring it back to our hand. We're not going to do it now, because they could have another discard spell, so let's keep it safe. Then we can cast it next turn, gain a bunch of life. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we actually can't cast it next turn unless we... No, we can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can. We can cast it next turn. Because we drew the land this turn. Okay. Okay, I'll block. Lose my shield counter, that's okay. We have another big spell coming, so we're not like too concerned about it. Big old dragon. <laughs> we just have to listen to the bubble noise until they pass priority. Oh, that's pretty good. That can kill the the cranial plating. We just play the land instead. I don't think the cranial plating is that big of a deal, right? Gain four life, draw three cards. All right, those are both really nice. Um, I can cast them actually, right? I can cast this with that. And then I can pump my whole team. Yeah, I can play this right now. And then I can sack a token. Why is this cost? Why does this cost one? I'm so confused, guys. Why does this cost one? Le Why does this cost one? Feel really stupid right now, guys. All right, whatever. Uh, all right, let's attack with six.
Why does this cost one? Is it like saying with the emerge? Like I could sack it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Dismember. Okay. Alright. I think we're in pretty good shape. So this really only costs one? Why does the, why do these cards cost less? Did they draw another spell? Another removal spell? I mean they must have, right? What do they have? I'll just take it, I guess. I have plenty of health. Oh, okay, that was their turn. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so let's play Drone, which costs one mana. Oh, it's a merge. Okay, it is a merge. I, I don't like how they do that. That's silly. Okay, well now I know how Emerge works, in Arena at least. Solmar, Solmar. Uh, yeah, I guess we keep it. We, you know, we have a nine drop in our hand, but we have a two, three, and four drop. So, if we could draw the, uh, the green, colorless enchantment spell, it'd be great. Propagator drone's pretty good too. We'll take that. So a lot less lands in our deck, so we're probably not gonna draw land, 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 which is probably for the best. Um Yeah, I think we'll play this instead of the Rhino, putting a shield counter on it. Doesn't seem super exciting. We could play Oozwag. Next turn. We could just make another token too. Oozwag's probably better. We'll see what they do. Worn Power Stone. Okay, can we draw Witch Enchanter? Blow him out? No, that's okay. So we have four, five mana. If we make a token this turn, we'll have six mana. We'll have seven mana next turn for Warp Tusker. Could go either way here. I could really, I could see either play being really good. I'm going to make the token. It's a little bit slow and steady here. You know? All right, 
Alright, they have six mana right now. Inventor. Token. You're going to play the... No, I was going to say you're going to play the Edict Creature, but the Edict Creature is non-token. Expel the Unworthy. Okay, like that, that was the concern, right? Because, yeah, sure, I make another token, but like it doesn't have Evolve anymore. So... But I guess that's okay if we want to play a 7-drop. Do we play the 7-drop now? Probably. We lose two tokens, though. They are black-white. It's probably pretty easy to kill my creatures. Yeah. I don't know. I don't love it. That's a good one. My plan was to maybe inspire an inventor, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Warp Tusker, and then attack, and then like play Oozwag next turn. I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to play Oozwag. No, sorry, I'm going to play... I can play this right now? Well, that's cool. Red, red, six. Yeah, I guess I can. I can tap each of these for red, sack, warp, tus tusker. We don't want to do that right now, though. Yeah, I think they're going to kill warp, tusker, but I want to go for it. Let's play this. Let's put a 1-1 one, one counter on warp, tusker. And then next turn we can give a trample with Oozwag. Got a lot of mana. Eight mana right now. Four four flyer. Why are they doing that? I don't know what they're thinking here. What is going on? What in the world? Alright, I'm going to put a shield counter on Warp Tusker. Alright, they have an instant. Oh no, it could just be the land. Ooh, nice. Okay, I didn't think that would resolve. Okay, so now it's a 7-9 Trample. And we have Gift of the Viper, too. Sure. What are they doing with this deck? I, maybe they have a lot of heavy drops, they just haven't like drawn yet, I guess. Because they have four, five, six, eight mana. Now they have double black and nine mana. Uh, I guess they just drew really poorly, right? I imagine if they're playing Worn Power Stone, they probably have, you know, maybe they have Ulamog or something, so. Alright, let's keep it up. Alright, the true messiah. What a name. <laughs> I feel like we have this card in our hand every game. Alright, yeah, we'll keep it. Uh, yeah, Path of Annihilation. I just want to draw that card every game.
Okay. Turn two, Dryad. Turn three, Guardian. That card's so good. Sylvan Safekeeper, Sack of Land, give one of your creatures Shroud. Really nice one. Yep, I still think we play uh, turn three Guardian of the Forgotten instead of the Oozwag. Uh, that's a good one. Alright, looks like we're going to have plenty of mana this game. They're playing Urza's Cave, probably as a, uh, a Wastes. Nice mana base. Take one. A lot of lands. Um, yeah, let's play Oozwag. I was thinking about playing Inventor, maybe putting the counter on itself. Um... So if they attack, we could like chump lock and then we get to manifest the top card. We'll have six mana next turn. Void Pouncer is good. No attacks. That's wild, man. Uh, this card's nice. This three to adapt. It is three to adapt. I'm gonna put a one-one counter on if it heralds the end. So if they do kill it, I do get to manifest a creature, and we'll just chill. Just chill. Could probably cast our dragon next turn, right? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can. No, wait, four, five, six, no, we're one, one away, one short. All right, we got a bit of a stalemate, but a six, six dragon would, uh, will break that stalemate. Great rip. All right, big dragon next turn. Oh, they have one card. Oh yeah, they drew a card off Serum Visionary. Then they scryed. I didn't see what they did, but I don't think they did double bottom. I feel like that makes like a much louder noise than any of the other ones. I feel like I would have realized that. Okay. That's not of consequence. God, this card draws a card too? This card's insane. Alright, plenty of value. Ah, Breaker of Creation. Alright. That's big. That's a big one. And they have the mana for it. Unless I kill the uh, Snapping Void Claw. No, they still have the mana for it because of this token. Can we cast both of these this turn? We play this. One, two, three. We can't cast both this turn. This is a really good card to just get rid of, though. playing it. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we can cast this, right? 
where we can we can emerge it, right? Yeah, I think we'll just pass here. We can adapt the ooze wagon to turn. Their 8-4 will be big, but like I don't think it'll be that big. I probably could have attacked there. Alright, so they're going to gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. Uh, 12 plus that creature. They're going to gain 13 life. Is it each other permanent? All right, do we attack with the seven nine? If we attack with the 7-9, they could block with their 4-5 and their 5-3. Doesn't seem very good for us. Alright, Dog Umber's good. Um... We could play Repurposer right now without sacking anything. But then we can't play Dog Umbra. All right, we just tap these two. We could play Dog Umbra. No, we could still play Dog Umbra. All right, let's play. All right, one, two, three. Yeah, we could still play Dog Umbra. Alright. There are 35. We're at 20. Our board's definitely better. They have one reach creature, and it's a 4 5, so our 7 7 should kind of stomp all over them. They attack with the 8 4. We could just block with our 7 9. So I think we're pretty far ahead right now. But they have the Void Craw, which just draws a card every turn, which is really nice. But I still feel pretty good with the Dog Umbra in our hand. Eight eight. When you tap at the two target permanents, put a stun counter on them. Oh god. All right. I mean, that's pretty good for them. I can't imagine that wasn't the best possible draw for them. I still don't think they could attack though. kind of don't want to play Rumble now. Yeah, I'm not going to play Rumble. Because I'm not going to cast whatever I get. Ah, I guess I'll do it. I don't know. Just take the most expensive card I get. Ding. Um. How do I cast this? Do I cast this? No, then I can't play uh, Dog Umbra. All right, but that's good enough. God, imagine playing this on paper. It'd be so confusing. All right, that card's too slow to make a difference. 
Oh, this is a 5-5 five five flyer. I just realized that. I think we pay 11 mana next turn and put this thing on the dragon attack. That's pretty good too. Just gotta make sure we still have dog umber mana. Which I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. We still do. Drawing pretty well this game. I think uh, the next thing we'd probably want is a, a Johnny fells the Godsire. He's drawn four more cards than us. Um, how important is that? Uh, I think that's fine. It shrinks all our creatures from 01s to 12s, but I think that's okay. <laughs> That's fun. Could use Dog Umbra as like a speedy way to give our creature trample too with uh, Tempered Oozwag. Gain four life again. So I think we swing out next turn. If they don't scoop beforehand. Surprising how many games I won with a 9 drop in my hand, my opening hand. Don't attack, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
There's no fogs in this format, right? Mm, two, two. Okay. So they're blocking an 01 on our 8 8. We play Dog Umbra on it, then it be is considered modified, and they take 7 travel damage. I'm going to pause and I'll unpause when they're done blocking. Alright, they almost used two timeouts deciding. Um, but we take our 8-8, eight eight, we put Dog Umbra on it. Now it has Trample, they, they lose. I'm pretty sure they're dead anyway. This is six damage right here. Plus there's three here, that's nine. Two here, that's eleven. And this is twelve. So they were dead anyway. Unless they have something else here, which I don't expect to. So... Cool, keep on winning. It's nice. Alright, Ben Miller. Ben Miller. Uh, honestly guys, this looks pretty good to me. Mono green. We'll play Brood Scale, turn two. Witch Enchanter is white. I don't. I think we can hold on to it for a little while because it just has a lot of variability. We don't want them to play Worthing Chrysalis this turn. There's our white. All right. Let's play Evolution Witness here. We could be bigger and bigger and better than them. Next turn, we will adapt our Brood Scale and play it that Herald's End, unless we have a really good Witch Enchanter target. Please don't play the five drop uncommon red green card, please. Okay. Okay. Alright, I think we'll kill that with Witch Enchanter. Alright. We're like... Depending what they do this turn, we're like a dog Umbra away from uh, being pretty safe. I mean, honestly guys, our hand was pretty good. Pretty good start, but like, no nobody wins this game. Can't win them all when your opponent has the, the nuts. Not the apps. I want to say not the absolute nuts because they didn't play the red green uncommon card, but instead they wrathed our board and played a three three and pumped up their creature. So. <laughs> What are you going to do? I think that's how this format is sometimes. So, 5-3 um, is fine. We can go infinite with 5-3. So, it's honestly, it's my best draft so far in this format. I'm kind of not doing so great at this point. But I knew I'd start turning it around, and here I am. This deck needed another Wastes or Twisted Landscape or something like that. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Gift of the Viper didn't do too much. I think we used it one game. Uh, I still have not cast this card, but I know it's good. I just haven't used it yet. Witch Enchanter is really good. So yeah, I'm happy with the deck. I think I um, went against the grain a little bit with this deck and took more thematic cards to this set, to this deck than good cards. You know, I think there were opportunities where I could have taken um, like the one mana bite spell gain three life but instead i took it the her it that herald's end which seemed to be pretty important in our deck given we played you know three seven drops and a nine drop so 
I think I think that really worked out for us. We were lucky to get this dragon and Path of Annihilation a little bit late in the draft. So, um, and really the draft didn't go amazing for us. Uh, green kind of dried up at some point, which made us take white, and even white wasn't great. We weren't sure if we were black or blue or red. Like we had kind of everything. So, um, given the draft didn't go amazing, I think um, I think we did well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, catch you in the next one.